Yo, so what's up guys, I'm making this video to clarify some stuff. Um, from my past video, the 5 cheapest car mods, I don't know if you watched it, it should be somewhere up here. Um, I use lure, a luring method of cut springs and I'm just giving my review on cut springs and the negative sides about it because here I am today and I have to deal with a problem of cut springs so I'm just gonna show you and yeah so let's get started into the video what I have is basically called short shocks and cut springs basically there's a shortened shock so the height gets lower and then cut springs make it even lower um, remember cutting spring less of the dampening the squishiness of the spring so it bounce so it will just be stiffer so the chassis will get this bounce um, and so we so we're gonna get started by jacking up the car and I'll show you some negatives of cut springs. Don't get me wrong, cut springs are like the easiest way to lower your car and probably cheapest and it actually looks really good. Come on guys, cut springs match coil overs and lowering springs any day. Well better than lowering springs in my opinion. Okay, so before we start, I should remember there's a giveaway coming up at 10,000 subscribers. We are moving up, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll let you know more info coming soon. Okay, so let's get back into the video. I'm gonna jack up the car now. Okay, so this for sure is one of the biggest things about lowering your car. Jack doesn't fit you. Most of the times. the tires off and you can see here my spring is much shorter than stock um, I don't know if y'all noticed that but one two three coils it probably has like six coils I think on original and you can see here watch the shock the shock plate the plate here and watch where the spring is the spring is out of the groove and watch it moves so when you drive, sometimes you hear this roll it. It's not gonna pop out, but it moves. How this happens, recently I got new tires. So brand new tires. So the brand new tires, the people when they jack up the car to remove the tires, it caused the spring to um, get out of position. So they never set it back properly, so now it causes me problems. I'm hearing it when I'm driving and then I just don't like how it feels because sometimes you feel like a cook and you want to know what's happening to your car. So with the new tires now, I need a better ride. So I'm going to set back the spring and I think I need to do that for all four sides. I'm going to set back the spring now. Um, I'll show you how that goes and hopefully we can get back in position as well when we rest down back the car. in the groove here so when it compresses it goes in the groove um, so I think it's hopefully lined up let me pull back on the tire and we will see when we are lowering it down hopefully it just falls into place and it doesn't move back down evenly so let's do this slowly it's done um, I have to do the three other corners of the car 
I'm not gonna show you the whole detail process like just now, but I'll show you like how the spring looked inside of it being jacked up when I was changing the tires. Um, but yeah, so come along for the process and I'll show you. Okay, so this is very hard to see, but as you can see, the little point is now inside. It's right here. It's inside the groove now. So that's when the spring is compressed. I haven't released the jack fully as yet. As you can see, there's a big gap here. But it's going, it looks like it's going back into place on the mount, on the plate, whatever it's called, whatever this thing called. Somebody in the comments tell me what is this place called? It is the spring holder, whatever it is. Let me just pause the video a sec to explain stuff about the negative side of coilover. So I gave one main reason, this is why I'm doing this video, but some other negative reasons of cut spring series. So cut springs, it has no adjustability. So it's not a coilover, it's not a coilover sleeve and has a measurement, height and lowering springs where all sides are accurately even. Um, all depending on the chassis, how stuff are, some stuff may be different. So as I said, it has no adjustability. Honestly, I wish I could have gone lower, um, but I'm not gonna pay money to drop it lower. When, yeah, I will probably save for coilovers and I'll do coilovers. Everybody would rather coilovers anyway. Um, so that's what I'm aiming to. Hopefully next year, we do something like that. And next thing too, as I said, the spring is shorter, so there's less dampening. So the whole chassis, it gets a bounce. Although I have not much coils taken out, like um, since I shortened my shock, but it still gets a little bouncy inside the chassis. Thank God it's not too much. This is number two, and let's see how that goes. Um, some, it's honestly not that bad. Cut springs aren't that bad. So if you want to get a cheap way to lower your car, I recommend you doing it. It's fun actually. It's actually a very good experience. You know all the ropes and everything about it. It's highly movie. It's highly movie. So we'll have to see about this. Okay, so we managed to get this one in. I think it's still a shaky, but hopefully when it compresses, it comes back normal. So let's put back on the wheel and I'll set it down slowly and hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Side seems to be done. Hopefully that goes well. I think I'll go for a test drive after. I think that's smart. Hopefully no springs pop out. That will be funny. Probably not. But um, yeah, I have no choice but to take it to a drive before we go anywhere serious and something happens. Um, let me type back up my log nuts. Um, let's move on to the next side. So I started to jack up the rear right um, and I noticed that the spring already is like it's in position so I don't think I need to go and adjust anything. Let me show you. So this looks like it's on where you feel the groove here and then the ending of the coil is inside this this notch. So this notch is where like the spring ending is supposed to go to secure it. So it's inside already. So I'm going to leave this side. It's not even shaking, and I and I have this jacked up already, um, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the front right now. 
So I'm playing it smart this time. Instead of me um, removing the log nuts, I'll jack up the car one more time on the front right to see if it's out, out of position. If not, I'll just set it back down. I'm looking through the gap here, the wheel gap. It actually looks okay, but I'll jack it up and see. Okay, so this is the front right. Um, and as you can see, it's in place where the notch is the end of the coil is so it's jacked up very high now so um it is a little raised but when that um is compressed it will go back down so it's in the groove everything seems fine and clearly only the left side was giving me trouble because honestly the left front is where i was hearing a rolling noise so um yeah so if you have another rolling noise problem probably it's your spring it's suspension, it's not wheel or anything like that or engine wise. So I'm gonna set this back down here and yeah, as you can see, it's in the groove, spring in plate. So yeah. So now you know one of the major problems of cut springs. Um, if your spring is cut too low, so if you want to be even lower, obviously these things happen, you just have to set back the spring sometimes you could work your way around it but yeah it's not much of a problem as you can see but that is some negatives and all the other stuff i call it well those are some negatives of the cut springs so take the car for a test drive let you all know how it goes um i can't go right now because my mom home and i have my brother with me but yeah i have a video coming up if you have white rims silver rims to get this this break dust layer off your rim off your painted rim i'll show you how to remove it to get it back completely silver white or any color or black whatever your color you have on your rim to so remove this break dust layer you see it's not coming off no matter what yeah i'll show you i'll give you all of video not just now okay so since we can't take a fat test drive i'll drive it up and down my yard and let you see how it goes Okay, so guys, we tested it out. I did not hear anything. I know that it's a short drive. I'll have to test it further, but at least the wheels didn't fall off. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Guys, remember to stay tuned for more. Hope this video helped and more to come soon. Soon, soon, soon. All right, later.